a lot of other Ironman and athletes come from the real either the swimming background or the runners background or the real athletic background but for me I was just a little grommet down the beach that used to hang out we'd be little grommies running around in steamers probably nine hours of the day we'd run up and get a chalky milk and meat pie and a bag of lollies and and we'd be powered up for the next four hour surf and just keep going out and and um you know I think that's what made me who I am today Last year I had my best um, result to date, finishing second overall in the in the series, and it was like a real bittersweet victory for me. Um, you know, to come so close to snatching the title and, and calling yourself the champion was um, something that I've always dreamed of doing. But to come so close and then fall short at the end is something that I can take into this year's series with a bit of confidence and say, you know, I, I can do this. I just need to tweak a few little things here and there and. You know, I've got the potential and capability to take the series and anyone who knows me knows that I'm determined and I'm focused. It is such a, a full-time job being an Ironman, you know, training three to four times a day, six days a week, uh, you know, anywhere from four to six hours a day, it's tough. Sometimes you do have bad sessions and you just want to pack it in, but um, you know you, you just got to keep chipping away and know that there's light at the end of the tunnel once the series comes around and, and you're standing on the line, you've left no stone unturned that you're the fittest you can possibly be and you're going to give yourself every opportunity. The only box left for me is the series champion. And hopefully we can get it ticked this year.